is your perception of how close the Cowboys are to the Eagles in that division and, I guess, in the, in the NFC at large? You know, it, it, they're closer for sure, absolutely. But it definitely comes down to what Marcus is talking about. In the end, is your quarterback putting you into trouble and can he get out of it in the critical moments? And that's the difference between Jalen Hurts and Dak Prescott. It was last year specifically. Jalen Hurts did not turn the football over and Dak Prescott did in the critical moments. And that is the bottom line of the difference between the two football teams. And if you're looking for an extra piece to help Dak Prescott, certainly Jonathan Taylor would be one of those players who could do that, yeah. for sure. If you're all in, then go all in. If you think the circumstances around your team, within your conference, put you in the best possible position, then get that one player like the Eagles did with you. A.J. Brown last no. season. You know what? We didn't get to when we talked about this in the first hour of our program today. I asked everyone on this set to pick the winner of the NFC East. Oh. And I've got it here. It says Greeny, Eagles. Swagoo, Eagles. Sal, Eagles. Graziano, Cowboys. The smart Talk one. to me, Danny. Well, the last time the same team won the NFC East two years oh, in a wow. row was 2003-2004. That was a long time ago. Right. I think weird things happen in the NFC East that we don't see coming. Yeah. The division is always pretty closely matched. I mean, what did you say? Cowboys and Eagles split their games last they year, right? Last year, yep. Like, it's not, they're not that far and Jalen off. Jalen Hurts didn't play in the second. And they Jack the Prescott Cowboys. and Jalen well, Hurts have not, they have not played play the against first one. one. Oh, okay. Yeah, they yeah. haven't played that's one right. That's right. They, that's right. That I don't have played one another. The Cooper I, Rush era, yeah. yeah. I don't think Dak Prescott is a 15 interception a year guy. There's nothing in his career prior to last year that says that. So, I think that was an anomaly. Uh, Swagoo's point about being able to elevate in the big games is, is a good one and a fair one. And I think Dak Prescott would probably agree with it, right? Like, he you knows. So, but I do think he'll, he won't put them in harm's way as much this year. And I can't. I, I've, I've been following that NFC East too long. I cannot pick the same team to win it that won it last year. Well, let's I see if I can't make myself do it. If, if the general uh, perception of them is one that we agree with. So, at ESPN, we released our NFL preseason power rankings. And the NFC East is very well represented. If you look at this closely, I'll get to my bone to pick a little bit later. <laughs> no wonder but if you is. look at it, there's not a lot of NFC representation here, Marcus. So if you just were to look at the NFC teams, they have the Eagles, the Niners, and then the Cowboys. Yep. Is that right to you? Is, is that the right order within the NFC power structure? That's the right order to me uh, as it stands right now. And then the Lions would be the next NFC yeah, team, but, and then the Seahawks. But because of what we know about the three teams, and use, it, it's come down to them, obviously the 49ers and the Cowboys in the playoffs the past couple, uh, couple years. Mm -hmm. But the three top teams in the NFC before any games are played are Philly, San Fran, and Dallas. I, I, look, the Eagles belong there, right? Like, the Eagles should be the favorites to win Absolutely. the NFC East. I, I should sensibly be picking them, but... It doesn't happen. Right. Something weird happens, and the Cowboys are good enough to take advantage of that if the Eagles are just off by this much this year from where they were last year. All right, so I want to try something. I, this was an idea that I had. If it doesn't work out well, we'll blame the staff. Um, so so we, we, looking at 14 teams there, now I will grant you, it is not evenly split between the AFC and the NFC. So I, I get that this is not a perfect exercise. Um, there, are, there are, I believe on this list, there are nine AFC teams and five NFC teams. But the point remains. 14 teams are going to make the playoffs. You're looking at the, four, the top 14 teams in the NFL. So, I'm asking you, of all the teams that are not on this list, which one would you, that palatial estate of yours in the suburbs of Philadelphia, who would you, which team that is not on the screen, well, I think would you bet to, your house on? I think it has to be either the Saints or the Cleveland Browns. To make the playoffs. Yes, because somebody's going to win the NFC South, yeah. and it most likely will be the Saints. Right. But what I'm saying about the Cleveland Browns, they are sneaky good because of what Jim Schwartz brings to that defensive staff. And because we've seen really great things from Deshaun Watson in the past. Now, all the reports out of our Browns camp is things are not really working and clicking on offense for Deshaun Watson right now. He's had a lot of ups and downs in camp. But I think because of the presence of Jim Schwartz and their ability to create turnovers defensively, they have a chance to sneak into the playoffs. Again, these are the teams that you would be, you would bet anything you wanted are going to make the playoffs this year who were not listed there. Graziano, you did take New Orleans for that reason. Because there's no NFC South team in the top 14, and yeah. Sal's correct. The rules say 
someone has to win it. Look, right. they are. I think they have the best quarterback in their division. Yes. I think when you look at the strength of schedule metrics, whatever those are worth, but I mean, like, if you look at it ahead of the season, the Saints Very have important, the yeah. easiest. Very important. The Falcons have the second easiest. That division has has it easy this yes. year. I, I think I think they're well positioned and probably win more games than than you would think given the schedule. Barring a Michael Thomas being available all year, would not shock me if the Saints ended up in the NFC Championship. Ooh. It wouldn't shock me at all. I think Derek Carr. Well, would shock I think me. Derek Carr sure. is very overlooked. But it wouldn't shock me, Sal, for, for the same reason I'm talking about Dallas. It's not deep in the NFC, and the Saints have the easiest road to go into the playoffs. Yeah, they, they like the so Saints they will play a games. home game. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, home game. so it is. And, and, and remember, this team hovers around the playoff when they suffer from a lot of injuries mm -hmm. and don't have a. But good there's quarterback. a quarterback too that needs a moment in the postseason. Yeah, oh, Derek Carr. Yeah. Derek Carr, which he's surrounded by guys that can absolutely Same afford it. Same as that Prescott. Yeah, but I, I went with Minnesota because one, I think. Like, like as, as, as hard as I am on Kirk Cousins, Kirk Cousins is very good at, at playing a position. Justin Jefferson is arguably the best wide receiver in the NFL. This offense under Kevin O'Connell is still going to be electric. I know Dalvin Cook left the building, but obviously it's and because Adam of – And Adam Thielen. But it's a change of philosophy, and it's because of that young superstar that they have at, at uh, wide receiver. And defensively, they made a change – coordinator-wise, which is the reason why last year mm -hmm. nobody believed mm -hmm. that the Minnesota Vikings were a legit threat to go to the Super Bowl. It was because of their defense. Yep. That offense was as good as anybody in the NFL. The same thing with Jim Schwartz, Brian Flores. Brian Flores, yeah. He changed. And, you know, when, sorry, you talk to people, when you talk to people in Minnesota, they're saying, and even Justin Jefferson was quoted as saying this week, listen, when we line up against Brian Flores and that defense – we never know where they're coming from. They are from. going to be better. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.